Hey, what's up everybody? Irishaimase, Andre Salazar. So you want to sell comic books at a craft fair, okay? It can happen, you can do it, you can make this work. Stay tuned, I'll give you my personal opinion on how to sell your comics at a freaking local art and craft show. Let's do it right now. Here you go, rule number one. Get all your stuff and try to put it in as many packages, boxes as possible. Go to Target or someplace, get some of those big Tupperware boxes. Try to get it all into one or two boxes. Everything of mine goes in one big blue Tupperware box and then a box of books. That's everything. That's enough books that I need to sell. That's enough all the merchandise and signs and posters and prints and all that stuff, my, my tarp, everything is all in those, those two boxes. So try to make your packaging for you moving around, going to these little shows as simple and concise as possible. Don't bring a damn garbage bag of stuff. Don't bring eight little boxes. Make it as easy as you can, okay? That's step one. Okay. You ready for rule number two? Rule number two, just bring the right amount of stuff. Similar to rule number one, compile it all into just a couple boxes. Don't bring too many books. If you sell out of books, that's okay. You want that. Don't bring so much stuff. I've been, I've went to some big shows. I brought the right amount. You go to some smaller shows and you think, I'll just bring a bunch. Don't. Pare it down to what you need. Here's what I got. I have more than this, of course, but you bring five, eight, maybe 10 books of everything. You bring some art, you bring the stuff you need. You just bring what you need. Don't have all the tchotchke stuff. Here's a, th here's a little tip. Don't do the, I used to do the stickers, postcards, pins, all that kind of patches. Just forget about that. Don't deal with 50 cents, $1, $2. Just stick with your books, stick with big art pieces, stuff like that. Just get rid of all the little, little stuff. It's not worth it. That's two. Okay, number three. Don't do business cards, dude. Save your money. Business cards never help you. You can have a little QR code for your Instagram, your website, but making business cards and giving them out to people, I think, honestly, not worth it. I rarely have ever had something happen with the business cards that made it worth my while. Very rarely. Okay, rule number four. Have one item that is a small ticket item. You got your big books, you got your art, things like that, but have one item. I know I just said don't do like the stickers and patches and all that stuff, but just have one item that's like a couple bucks just to have. Sometimes they don't want to spend 20, 25 bucks for your one book, but they'll spend for something. So I made these little zines, okay? These are $3 each, these are little comics. I made these super simple zines for $3. I have this item, this is it. Besides the zines, everything else is big ticket, but have one little item just because sometimes people do want to be a patron. They want to like help you a little bit, but they don't want to throw down for something really. So you just make one little small item, okay? Do that. Number five, do something while you're there. While you're at these events that are mostly craft shows that have lotions and soaps and tchotchkes and knitted scarves and such, do your art if you can. If you're an artist, get a piece of paper, get a pad, some pens, and do some art. Like be active in creating the thing that you sell while you're there because that engages people. They want to see it. If you can do little sketches and sell those, that's cool. Or if you want to give them out for free to the kids, that's cool too. But as you're like doing thing and creating, people love to see people create live. So that will set you apart from the gal who's selling lotion. So. That's number five. Number six and last is engagement. Be engaging, not only to all the people, cause you would do that for a normal comic book convention, 
but be engaging to the other vendors who aren't comics. You're the only comic guy there. Everyone else is selling these other things. So it's a different world. So be engaging to the person selling turnips or selling, you know, tobacco or whatever. Be, you know, get to know them, see what's up. Let them see what you're doing because for two reasons. One, they might actually buy your thing because it's new and novel and unique and they don't get to see that often. So a lot of these people, they might not be exposed to comics. So you might just get a customer from these vendors. And two, more importantly, who knows what kind of relationship you guys might build in the future, some other opportunity. They might know a contact who does these other kind of markets or farmer's market, things like that. So I would say that's the last thing to do and maybe the most important. So engage not only the people, potential patrons, but also all your vendors and neighbors because uh, that's important too. There you go. I'm gonna show you again, you can never miss my spotlight.